Hello my beautiful Cancer signs, welcome to your reading for the second half of September. If you're new to my channel, then welcome guys, I'm Miss CD with Miss CD's Tarot. If you're returning, then welcome back my darling Cancers, it's always exciting to see you and I love spending this time with you. So thank you so much again for your support, your likes, comments and shares and subscriptions have been amazing. I love hearing how these are relating to your situations and I love hearing where you're watching from. So if you're just joining us, then make sure you comment below where you're watching and tuning in from around the world. And and also comment your birthday because everyone's been having so much fine, fun finding their birthday twin. So it's exciting. Thank you again so much for the birthday wishes. I just celebrated my birthday last week and I had so much fun and I appreciate your patience because I took some time off. I think I deserved it and I spent it with fam friends and family. I'm on another level today, so I hope we're not too fast, but you can always adjust those in the settings below. We're going to get started with the Oracle of the Fairies. Let's see what your messages are here for the month, or I should say the second half of September. Oracle of the Fairies, what messages do we have for my Cancer signs, please? What is coming through for you, beautiful Cancer signs? Right off the bat, believe in magic. I love it. This is such a powerful card. They're asking me to take another one. I took another one. Thank you, guys. We had one more waiting for you. So the first card was... Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights says you are part of nature. You are so magical too. And look at the beautiful colors and I love it because it matches my paintings. Notice the theme guys, very magical theme here. Also for you guys, a very powerful time and possibly even needing you to spend time in nature, getting around this beautiful energy, believing in magic, believing in possibilities, believing in all sorts of stuff. The first thing to seeing is believing, right? So very powerful energy coming through. Then we have inspiration, I love it. So this is be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration come dusk or dawn she can call at any time so be ready for this beautiful angel or i should say fairy to come through here maybe some of you are getting messages from your angels number angel numbers could be very significant too for you so using this time of inspiration can be very powerful and of course pay attention to those signs and symbols and synchronicities that could be around you and i feel like for some of you too things might be coming together very magically things could be happening almost perfectly because you are kind of in this beautiful alignment right now where everything all those pieces that you needed are falling into place so for some of you cancer signs if you've been working on a lot of things they're coming together and those so the if there's elements that are missing to your plan missing to your connection missing to whatever they're going to start appearing people situations offers jobs connections whatever this is i love it there's a lot of things coming in and of course the inspiration here too can of course have the faith to keep this magic flowing as well as also using this time right now to really bring that towards you what's happening Okay, I'm going to just go again. So these are the romance angels before I take any of these romance angels. What messages do we have for my beautiful cancer signs for this time or whenever this video is finding you, of course, too. We do have a lot of energies today. And as always, you can always find the cards. I have the links below now. I have affiliate links as well. So there are other links for more cards, I have to admit. I buy a lot of cards if you haven't noticed so if there's any of the decks that aren't listed that you're interested in or that you've seen in my videos just comment and I will add them for you so you can find them as well and then we'll get a few more here please romance angels can we have two more two more please beautiful so your first one was getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and i don't know why too i just got such a soothing thing come over me so i'm really happy because i feel like for you guys too it was like almost like i got to take a sigh and a breath of relief because i had such a surge of energy too so i'm going to be honest with you things are kind of falling into place so if there was any anxiety any fear any worry any nervousness about things working out a certain way let it go let it go 
getting to know this person too is also going to relieve those anxieties so i feel like as you are going to step into this connection with this person you could be feeling this inspiration to keep putting effort into this or you'll of course get to know one another on a deeper level and realize that you do have far more in common possibly than you thought love yourself first your self-respect make self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so very powerful time here but of course as you're getting to know them you're also setting boundaries remember when we're meeting new people you can choose to tell them your past story or you can choose to tell them whatever version of you you are now moving forward and it's not about omitting things but if we're trying to become someone new then why do we keep pulling out the old stuff right so believing in magic what it is that you aspire to be what it is that you aspire to become all those beautiful energies that you have how can you attract that so as you're getting to know this person and you're you could be very passionate about your dreams and desires and ambitions because of course you are a very emotional sign and that's not just because you're a water sign but you are a caring and kind-hearted person so when you put that out there you also attract it and of course there's good to bad to it because of course a lot of the times it's it's a little difficult but I feel like as you're loving yourself too you're standing up and you're setting very healthy boundaries at this time which is really good because then we have let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally so again if there was any lack or fear or worry or anything like that, let it go because you have to allow things to work out as they're meant to. And I think that that's where that sigh of relief was coming in for me as well. Not just to take a break because I know I talk a lot, but this is also to have this moment where things can just unfold and it's going to be so magical. Like I feel like believe in magic. Things are, there's a reason why everything's happening the way it is right now, but we do have a strong passion here too. Like I said, you could be very passionate about a lot of things, but this person can be also very specifically passionate about you. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I think as you let go and you surrender, and I know I've been surrendering, I've been patient, I've been a lot of things, but I feel like what's also happening too is as you're continuing to be so passionate about what it is that you're doing, it will also ignite other people. And that's where this inspiration comes from too, because I feel like if some of you have been going and going and you're kind of running out of steam a little bit, something's gonna come in and it's gonna just reignite that for you to a point that that inspiration is gonna come from somewhere you least expect it. So be open to receiving miracles and magic. And I'd like to welcome my newest tarot addition to our tarot family this is the soulmate cards again you can find the links below these are a beautiful uh, new ones and these ones are for nurturing and attracting loving relationships so let's see which ones come out for you guys what messages do we have for my cancers please soulmate cards oh that's quite a few but let's take this one over here <clears throat> These are new, so I haven't seen all of these yet, so I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't know this because it's a new deck, but there's a copyright, copyright card came out here too. So perhaps copywriting is important, maybe for some of you if you're dealing with legal documents or anything like that, make sure you get your copyrights in order. So that could be a nice little friendly reminder for myself as well. Let's get one more, please soulmate cards can we have one more for my cancer signs that's funny see this is how you know i'm real i don't edit it's just one film one pose that's it <laughs> there's straight very direct that's how i am with everything how you do one thing that's how you do everything right guys so let's do this okay so the first one said i'm excited to share them with you okay the first one was you are always in my heart like a glowing ocean light a shimmering star in heaven. Love is a golden memory drifting through space like autumn leaves, recollections of loving days and nights. Wow. I don't know what kind of powerful connection this is, but it sounds very magical already. <laughs> you are who you are because of your history. All of it has helped you grow in love and wisdom. Every experience has blessed you in some way. Embrace the past and forgive anything that needs forgiving. And I think it's very interesting how I said as well about when you're meeting someone new, as you're getting to know them, I give you guys permission to let go of your past. I give you guys permission to heal the parts of you that feel like you need to tell those old stories. And it's not that they're not who you are, but it's about becoming who you want to be. So start being that person now. Embrace it. Act as if attract that right and and then it's still doing the healing i'm not by any means saying saying you have to do the healing 
that doesn't just happen instantly, but it's also kind of like starting to be and become the person you want to be. If you haven't already, depending on when, you, when you're finding this on your journey, you could be doing it amazingly. And this is just reinforcing the part to embrace and be grateful for everything. Appreciate it all. You are entering a period of positive change, deep and profound transformations that occur at the deepest level of your being. You emerge with a renewed passion for life full of romance and creativity. And I can't even emphasize the passion here, inspiration for this creativity. This is so much, this is such a, it's already in alignment. This whole reading is already in alignment. I don't know what's coming through for you guys. But it's going to be magical. Let's see. Let's get using the uh, Gilded Tarot. Let's see what the Gilded Tarot has for us. What's the messages for my beautiful, beautiful Cancer signs? Got a whole story already. I'm not even going to look yet. <laughs> so, they want to come out. Here we go. So we have the Five of Cups. Could have been a period of sadness. Someone could be feeling like there was a loss. Maybe there was a loss in a connection or some disappointments that have happened. Things didn't work out how we wanted them, right? That's part of why the let the go of control issues is here because there's just been an element of sadness. Could be in terms of people, could be in terms of options and can be just in this connection. Something was not going as we want it to. Wanna get one more here and then I'll be all yours. Thank you. Probably still gonna clarify after, but then we have the Five of Cups. So crying over spilt milk, things might have been a little bit difficult. This could be also why you're needing this new emphasis. So again, if something is not working out as it's meant to, please allow it to happen, accept what needs to happen, don't force things. I feel like sometimes when we're trying to force it, that resistance is what's also creating additional disappointment and sadness. So we do have the two cups back here. So once you can let go and release all the things that didn't work out, could be the person, could be the connection, could be those emotions, could be the feelings. These could be those deep emotions we're still holding on to as well. Those two cups are there behind them. Losing sleep. If there was a breakup, possibly some kind of sadness here in a connection, I feel like there is a little bit of uh, sleepless nights. Could have been a fight. Not, nothing doesn't always have to be a big thing, but things just aren't going the way you want them to. Or this could be how you're feeling and or how they're feeling, but there's this element of losing sleep. This can still be you or them up at night thinking about this fears, worries, anxieties, all sorts of different things kind of coming through. Very heavy energy. I feel like even my chest is really heavy, so I don't know what happened, but there could be a situation that's causing this kind of emotional and mental sort of confusion. But again, we do have these cards which are talking about like, you are who you are. So if these are elements of your personality, then you could also just be going through a grieving process or letting go of some things, which is also powerful because we were saying that you're entering this positive shift. Now the shift has to happen in order for this stuff to clear away. So why is the, this is also very powerful because the owl's here. This is also about gaining wisdom. You know, maybe when you find yourself kind of catching yourself doing this, you have to shift it. You have to do something quickly. And I feel like for some of you, you're shifting your mindset and that's why this two of cups when you're ready and you wake up that next day it could be coming in but there's a period of indecision too which is very interesting you guys it's sort of like if something comes in for you it's almost like it's too good to be true and you're not sure because like I said it's aligning so it's gonna be happening quickly and I feel like that could also be why you might be a little bit blinded to this connection that could be right in front of you this partnership this union with this person um, someone with the two of cups too is very you know cancer Scorpio or Pisces we do have Libra Gemini or Aries as well so far uh, a lot of air and water so far so emotions but no communication okay there's no communication stalemate you both know or if you're happy Having this mutual energy with the two of cups it's a mutual feeling maybe you both know it but you haven't both expressed it someone could be needing to make a choice there could be a decision that's needing to be made here maybe something else or someone just got out of something and they're trying to come towards you that could be part of what this grieving is this or this person might feel like they disappointed you or maybe something didn't go well and they're trying to figure out how to come back towards you let go of control issues is also kind of like it wasn't happening on its own and sometimes we overthink all the different ways on how we can make it work, but it's not coming together, okay? So this could be also someone, there could be a connection that's right in front of you, something that is just kind of like, you don't see it, kind of divinely protected as well. So I feel like, as I was saying too, that when certain things don't work out, 
we call it divine timing, but the other side is the divine protection. So whatever it was that wasn't made, maybe you weren't the choice, they weren't the choice, maybe you didn't get this if it's some kind of contract or something. There's a reason why, and you could be in work finding new partnerships, new businesses to invest in. For others of you in this love connection, though, if you're dealing with this person, there, of course, whatever you're feeling, they're feeling, because this is always like the mirroring card. You know, this can be the twin flame, soulmate, however this means to you and your connection, but this person, you mind, body, soul, very strong connection, very strong energy towards one another, could be even telepathically communicating, I feel like in that way, even if you don't see them, you feel them kind of energy, okay? But this is needing to make this choice. Now, what's the choice? We're growing. Maybe there was some growth. Maybe there's some maturing that needs to happen. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, it could be Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But this is something that you've planted a while ago. And I feel like now is kind of the season where these things are going to start coming in. You're going to be able to pick the fruits from all your trees, all the hard work you've been doing. It's been taking time. Could be climbing the ladder too to success. For others of you, I feel like that's why this belief is here too, this inspiration, because I feel like you were wondering when the tree is going to start growing, wondering when the connection is going to start growing, wondering what's happening, but all this stuff could have been under the surface, right? We don't see our thoughts. We don't see our emotions unless they're expressed and heard. So it's kind of like a lot of this stuff was sort of happening underground, but now it's starting to surface. So I feel like for some of you, that's why you haven't seen it because maybe they haven't expressed it to you yet. Maybe they haven't told you and they've been doing some work to come towards you because then the next card we have is the tower. <laughs> could be dealing with the Scorpio, but this could also be very shocking, a very big surprise. Now, of course, different energies coming through here too because the tower can also be a pleasant surprise and it's been taking a while for this to happen for others they could have been debating or trying to figure out how to come towards you maybe there was some fears of rejection maybe there might have been some rejection in the past but this is also a chance for reconciliation too with the judgment card here libra energy as well but someone could kind of come back that you weren't expecting this could be a surprise call because the horn to me always is like a ring some some call someone could call you out of the blue uh could be a work opportunity could be something you might have maybe you started something a while ago and you were missing a piece and then all of a sudden it shows up however this means uh it could be in the connection too maybe you were talking to someone a while ago nothing really came of it and now you're sort of getting back into this and things are kind of surprising let me get one more here let's see what else we can get for you what's this big judgment a big decision this can also talk about someone coming back from the past or for some of you making that change you know like i said too is it day one or is it one day and it's kind of starting from there and what this fell on this end so I know for some of you too this could have been someone who was a bit deceptive betrayal lying and I feel like that's what the sadness was or that's what caused that anxiety so just be careful about any people maybe trying to come back from the past who may have already hurt you okay so just be cautious yes people can change but patterns don't so in one way it's kind of like if you've already fallen for something before, you might be recognizing this again. Or for others of you, of course, that's the fear of what is coming towards you. Is this person going to do this again? Are they just trying to take from me what's happening? So I feel like you're going to be the best judge here. Or that could be also why you're being a little bit more indecisive because you want them to put in the work. Okay. And if there was a situation, maybe there was a third party situation before. Doesn't necessarily mean anything. It could have been someone you did break up with in the past or this is what's causing a breakup possibly however it resonates i'm sorry this was really weird <laughs> even for me because it's like good energy but not good energy so it could be someone you really care very strongly for and you're quite disappointed in their actions and i feel like that could be also what's sort of benefiting you because you're having this level of maturity where you're really standing your ground if this isn't a connection or you're making the choice to choose yourself i feel like in one way too you're generating so much success and stability on your own that you're just kind of like well i don't need you I want you and if I don't want you then I don't need you and you don't have to be here so for some of you it's kind of really standing in that beautiful power the divine feminine energy however this applies masculine energy too just getting your secure your security back in yourself and who you are standing tall being proud of who you are the peacock too you could be someone in the public eye as well could be a very surprise recognition as well too for some of you you could be getting recognized for some achievements um this could even be like an award. I feel like some people... Ooh, what, I'm, what I just got, which is weird. I feel like some people might have tried to steal some idea 
because swords are ideas. Someone could have been trying to take your idea and they were unsuccessful or you picked up on this and you figured this out or this was something you were worried about. And I feel like all of that works out in your favor. I feel like this is going to be a huge thing. It's going to be very shocking. You could also be getting a commitment with this person. Um, you know, in many ways, this person could also see you as the mother of their children wanting a future with you. Maybe they lied about it in the past that they didn't want it with you. They didn't confess to you how they were feeling. And now they can kind of be coming and shelling it shouting from the rooftops if that's what you want then that's for you if it's not what you want then I totally understand you know of course we have free choice here too the letting go of control issues is also kind of like you kind of let your walls down you let things happen as they're meant to in this connection we do have so many different things going on and I feel like in one way we have the three of cups at the bottom so this is going to be something very celebrated I feel like this is going to be very exciting news versus bad news but I think like whatever might have not worked out in the past we're going to look at it as a blessing because it created the space for this new event to come in and it is going to help you get to this like honestly from this fear and scared and worry to this energy like look at the difference right so that confidence that power that 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 personal belief even right like this inspiration and having this strong beautiful heart energy is coming through so i'm really excited for you guys cancer signs this was a really nice reading in the end let me see if i can get one more I am being nosy for you guys today because even for me it's what else can you tell us yes reciprocation okay I feel like this 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 is so powerful I have to tell you guys whatever those energies were this can be in business this can be in life because there's a lot of pentacles here so you could be working with this new person you could meet them at work or that's how you're connected to them and of course maybe you never looked at them in an emotional way but they might have been looking at you emotionally because you didn't see this now going from worrying that someone is taking more than they're giving right causing you that sadness we're shifting into something that's abundantly growing tree full of pentacles okay six of pentacles reciprocation balanced equal giving having enough to share you could be helping other people too people could be coming towards you for that or this person is finally wanting to invest and grow with you wanting to put this you know that power couple type of vibe but also you also having this powerful energy where you're standing in your confidence and that's also why this person is giving okay she wants it she deserves it she's getting it as opposed to having this energy from before that always left you because I feel like they wouldn't communicate fully so you'd be left in this fear worry and stress and when you don't know things that leads to that uncertainty but then it's not even about control issues when you just want answers right but I feel like this person is going to give to you without you even needing to ask and of course they're going to reciprocate so what you do they're going to do too so I'm really happy for you because that is a big surprise again for some of you this could be with a past person that you might want this with and for others of you it could be a totally new person coming in because all those things had to fall away those deceptions tendencies or people or situations and I feel like that's what's created that space for this passion to come in could be in business and again could be someone you work with so that's even more fun because then you can build a lot of things together guys I love it thank you so much again and please as a thank you for your time take one of the links below it's actually for travel savings you can get up to 35% of local or long distance travel and as always with each one of them that we activate it provides a meal for family and, and children families and children who need it right now and for each one that we activate my foundation donates a meal and that's how we've been doing this together we've almost given out a hundred meals together with the youtube channel so thank you so much for all your support now and always and please check out all the other videos focus on the titles see which ones resonate for you and if uh, they can help with more clarity then it's all the better as always though stay blessed god bless you all love and light now and always and we'll see you soon bye